Okay, this is gonna be another place where we'll show the mini roller. Just trying to get some extra footage to uh, show our procedure. So again, we've done a little small cut in here up against the tape just to seal that so we don't have to jam a lot of this heavy roller in here. I'm still gonna have my brush on hand in case I do get the build up. This being such a small wall, we're going into the bigger wall. Um, we're gonna use a, th this little roller right here just to you know, not get the big roller up against in this small kind of tight area here. And so we'll just, just run this. Again, you see how this nicely, we want a little bit of texture in the paint, but we want it uniform no matter what, how little or light, it's all gotta be the same. And so by putting the same amount of paint on with this little roller that we do the big, we just do a little smaller section. It's just too easy to get that big roller and get a, a texture. It's hard to control. So we're gonna kind of go ahead and smooth and smooth and smooth like we talked about earlier. Okay. And then we will proceed on up the wall. This little handy pail's nice and roll off right here. And again, by rolling this texture, your roller always covers better than a brush because it's texturing and it's covering. And so we've got that texture edge to edge. This would look terrible with the big slit cut in around here. And so we'll, we'll have the same texture here. And then as we go to our big roller across the bigger wall, we'll just carry this on. I don't know how well you can see with this camera. I'll find out when I get back to the office. Some little imperfection there. There's trash on the wall. Dust or something. Let's get that off. Not a... <laughs> but anyway. Okay. And there we go. Okay. We move on with our big roller on across the wall.